The next round of Ming shocks may be disrupted because of Kyiv's inability to control its own army, Vladislav Dinego, spokesman for the Lugansk People's Republic, said in a statement. According to the spokesman, the Ukrainian side has failed to fully honor the silence regime. Kyiv was pushing for a new round of talks on Donbas to be held on December 9 because it was hoping to bring Ukrainian armed formation to reason for at least a short while and to conduct talks before they start violating the silence regime, he said. Ukraine has saved 500 million dollars by sourcing gas supplies from Europe over the last six months after Russia almost doubled its price for gas for Ukraine in April 2014, Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said in Parliament on Thursday. But at the same time, the Minister of Finance is planning to increase the retirement age for Ukrainian men and women to 65 years, the government announced on Thursday. If Ukraine saves so much money every month, why it need to increase the retirement age? It seems seems something wrong in Ukrainian government logic. Armenia's entry into the Eurasian Economic Union is supported by virtually every political group in the country, Russian ambassador to Armenia Ivan Valinkin told following a Friday meeting of a coalition of the country's liberal opposition parties. Listening to the speeches made by the opposition, one notes that almost all of them are in favor of preserving Armenia's status as a candidate for entry into the Eurasian Economic Union. Apart from maybe one group, no one is against it. Armenia had been sent to sign an association agreement with the European Union in November 2013 in Vilnius, but instead declared its intention to join the customs union and to participate in the Eurasian integration project that currently includes Russia, Kazakhstan and Belarus. The three countries have ratified the EU treaty, which will come into force January 2015. Germany's chief prosecutor said there is still no hard evidence linking the NCA to the tapping of Chancellor Angela Merkel's phone, especially because the investigation failed to get a hold of the original NCA document authorizing the spying. As of today, there is no evidence leading to charges that connection data were recorded or a phone call by the Chancellor was listened to, prosecutor Harald Range said in a televised year-end news conference on Thursday. Crucially, he said German authorities were not able to get a hold of the authentic NCA documents, which authorized the wiretapping of Merkel's phone. Range said that an editor at Spiegel prepared the paper's report on the basis of the NCA documents he visually examined. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.